Hi everyone and welcome to our third session where you'll learn how to boost your online presence to sell oodles of products and services. My name is Jeffrey Brown. I'm a webinar manager at GoDaddy. I've been with the company for almost a little over five and a half years. I get to educate local business owners and local entrepreneurs on content marketing, social media marketing, reputation management, and really just to make sure that you're getting connected with your customers and you're painting that experience online. Now, I wanna say a huge, huge thank you so much for being one of the thousands of people listening to and actually watching this presentation. I am so delighted, so tickled to have the opportunity to talk to all of you today about your online presence. Now, particularly because in this very strange year, so much of traditional storefronts and offices have, well, they've been disrupted and your online presence has never been more important. Now, before we dive in and get started, I did want to let everyone know that you can actually sign up for a free 20 minute session with a GoDaddy guide. Just sign up under GoDaddy guides. Now, we all know that more and more customers, and including myself and also many of you, have been doing their online shopping, whether that's online, maybe that's via an app these days and for obvious reasons. And if your business doesn't have a robust online presence, they're gonna shop elsewhere. And that's just a simple reality. So today we're gonna to talk about bending that reality to your will and creating conditions to really grow that online e-commerce presence, reach more potential customers and sell more products and services. So now as I present all this information, if you have any questions, just go ahead and throw them in the question box below this video. And at the end of the presentation, we'll have some time to actually answer all those questions. So we're gonna talk about four key areas. We're gonna count them one, two, three, four. We're first gonna kick things off with identifying if you're ready for e-commerce. After that, we're gonna talk about selling products and services on your actual website. We're then gonna move over to reaching more customers by selling on marketplaces like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay. And last but not least, we're gonna take it home and wrap everything up with selling and showcasing your products on social media, specifically on Facebook and Instagram. Now, as we go through this session, you're gonna to get to hear from someone just like you who has been there and done this work before. And her name is Sarah, the Wicker Goddess. Um, she's gonna explain how she navigated through her journey from selling on Instagram to launching her website to then exploring her products on Etsy while keeping track of all of her inventory in one single spot, a convenient place as well. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is a little drum roll. Are you ready for e-commerce? Now, do you have a product or service to sell? Do you have a brick and mortar store that's maybe you've been impacted by COVID and you're looking for new ways to get your product to your customers? Or are you a service business that you've had to shift from in-person sessions to online sessions now? Maybe you're using Zoom or some other video conference. So if you've answered yes to any of these questions and you've already made the most important choice for getting ready for e-commerce, you decided that you wanna be able to do more than what you're doing right now, right in this moment. And you're looking for ways to make that happen all online. Now, that is a decision that gets you ready for e-commerce. Now listen, for, now listen for a moment to how Sarah actually knew that she was ready to take the same leap and actually start her home business and selling her own products online. If it fails, it fails. And that's what being an entrepreneur is. You just try it. You jump off the ledge and you hope that there's like a tiny net at the bottom. When we started Wicker Goddess, it kind of fell into our laps. We didn't really know that we were building a business. Wicker Goddess is vintage home goods and furniture, hand-drawn greeting cards and art prints. We were selling things from the wedding, but it wasn't a business idea or anything. And we realized it's how you stage a photo. It's how you show someone what it would look like in their home. And then it shifted the perspective and decided like we're buying to sell, not we're just buying to enjoy. I think I've never bought a greeting card ever. I've always made one for my friends and my family and people were complimenting them. And I was like, maybe I should just try to sell them. Like whatever. I started making these cards and started selling them online and people were buying them. Figuring out the pieces of my business and figuring out myself were hand in hand. It was the wicker first and then art fell into that because it's important to me and it brings love and warmth into people's homes in a different way that furniture can't. I know that when I put my all into something, it will be great. I couldn't imagine two years ago now that I'd be here, but um, I'm really grateful. 
Sarah's one of those people, those stories that I just find truly inspirational and I've just got chills over here. I mean, from selling vintage products to selling her own art online, she's boldly taken that leap of faith and she's really come out on that other side of it with real success through selling online. So let's imagine if you want to, you can all close your eyes, um, that you wanna take that same leap of faith. Now, it doesn't have to be scary and you can open your eyes if you close them. Because regardless of where you want to sell your products, whether that's on social media, maybe that's marketplaces, or hey, even that's that, that's might be your own website. There's a couple of things you can do right now to really make that process easier. So first, we want to start with creating a detailed list of all your offerings. And this way you can really make sure that you're highlighting how each product or service is going to solve that pain point or offer a solution to your prospective buyer. And this should be done if you're offering a service or selling a digital or physical product. Now, second, I told you there are gonna be two, we're gonna determine if an image would actually help sell your product or service. Now, if it will, then you really wanna make sure you're gonna take great product photos. You wanna use quality photos of your products or services, and you wanna make sure you have them saved in one place on your computer. This way you can easily upload them to your store. Don't be me and have your files all over your desktop. Have it in that one single place. Now, you're probably thinking, Jeffrey, what is the point? The point is to make a detailed list of what you want to sell, but also including those images. Now, when this is completed, then you're ready to start selling online. You're off to the races. And if you're not sure how to take great photos, at the end of this presentation, there's going to actually be a reference slide, and I'll share some places where you can learn how to take some great images as well. Now, this is just an example of Sarah's art and the product description, I love this. It says, hang on, hang this on your wall as a gentle reminder to be patient with yourself and your dreams because most good things take time, which is true. <laughs> most good things do take time. And you can see that Sarah's actually used a plain colored black background that actually helps her product image pop. I mean, it just looks amazing and it really stands out. And by the way, if you've already done this work because you already use Square's point of sale, you're already tracking all of your inventory right there. Don't worry, you don't have to start over. I know that's the last thing you want to do. You can actually upload your products right to your online store. So we know how to get ready for e-commerce. Now let's explore the three ways to get your products there. So selling products or services on your actual website, you want to make sure you're growing your reach by selling on marketplaces or selling and showcasing your products on social media. So we're going to actually start with the website. And the simple truth is that you're going to actually serve your business and your customers better, but also increase sales. Because if customers can buy directly through your website, having your own online store can help you reach those new customers. But it can also connect you with existing customers and y'all just in brand new ways since they may not be able to come into your store or actually schedule in-person services. Now, we also want to make sure that they know how to find you so they can continue making these purchases as well. And the great thing about this is your online store is open 24 seven, especially for someone like me, I can shop all the time. And because it's your website, you actually own that relationship. Now that's important if we're thinking about the lifetime value of a customer. Now the good news is today, technology makes it easier than ever to actually launch an e-commerce website. User-friendly, affordable, all-in-one site builders such as GoDaddy's website plus marketing plan, provide customizable themes, drag and drop tools, and all the features you need to be a part of a massive worldwide marketplace. So let me show you two different websites that we've created actually using websites plus marketing. Now, the first site I wanna show you is Chahan Yoga. Now, before COVID, Carrie Chahan did in-person yoga sessions. And when COVID hit, she lost all of her customers overnight. Now, since then, she's actually shifted to delivering her classes online. And with Websites Plus Marketing, it's easy for her customers to book appointments and even pay online. Now, let's check that out. So this is Carrie's site, and it looks amazing. Now, on the main page, there's a call to action to learn more. Let's check that out. Now, there's two different options for classes. I'm going to book a private lesson. And looks like I just need to pick the date and choose my time. And now I can enter my information, including paying for the class in advance, and then clicking confirm. Now that's just smooth and easy. And another thing I'll mention is if you're a service business like Carrie and providing classes online, 
Websites Plus Marketing does have that one-click Zoom integration feature to make delivering your video classes a cinch. Now, the second site I want to show you belongs to Sarah, the Wicker Goddess. And Sarah sells greeting cards, prints, vintage products, and stickers. Now, let's check Sarah's site out to see what her page looks like. Now, to see Sarah's offerings, this is easy as clicking shop, selecting that product that I want, and then checking out. Now, the process to purchase products on Sarah's sites works just like I would expect, and it's easy, it's convenient, and it's amazing, and it's simple for your customers. Now, as you can see, whether you're selling a product or service, you can create an e-commerce experience, and I want to say that again. Whether you're selling a product or a service, you can create an e-commerce experience, and that's what you want to do for your customers with Website Plus Marketing. Now, in this section, we're actually going to focus on the product selling aspect of e-commerce. Now, however, if you are a service business, we're going to actually include resources at the end of this presentation. And this way you can learn how to list your resources, your services, and let your customers book and play, pay online. Now, let's start by discussing things you should consider before jumping in and building your online store. So the first thing you should do is make sure that homepage is solid. I mean, 10. When you add a store to your site, your homepage sort of acts as that storefront. So it's important that, you know, it's pulling people in. Just like your storefront, you got to make sure the windows are cleaned, the open sign is on, you have that welcome mat ready to go. Maybe you have some flowers out there. Because if you want sales, you need people to do more than just window shop. Now, you also need to consider how much you plan to charge for items and what kind of payment methods you're actually going to accept. Now, you want to do some research to ensure that you can be competitive, but also still make a profit. And if most of your customers to prefer to use credit cards and you're only offering PayPal, you're going to miss out on some sales. So next, you want to outline that shipping program. So really think about the method that that's going to fit your product or your service. Like, should you use weight-based or flat rate or even free shipping? I love free shipping. <laughs> but offering your customers the right shipping methods can decrease shopping cart abandonment and actually increase your sales. Because the last thing you want to happen is you don't want someone loading their cart up with your products and then abandoning it because of shipping costs. So that's the last thing you want to happen. So other things you should consider are what promotional offers or special discounts you want to offer. And I love a good promotion or a good discount. And the holiday season is quickly approaching. I mean, we have Halloween, I mean, just right around the corner. So you want to make sure you have a way for your site visitors to subscribe to your emails. And you can send them special discounts or promotions. I, I know my inbox is full of them, but I love all the ones that I'm getting. And they're all from local businesses. And I say this is more important than ever before because more and more people, they're shopping online. Now, knowing how you want your online store to operate before you jump into building is just going to make the build so much easier and better for you as well. It's going to be less stress. So let's actually hear from Sarah again on her thoughts about launching her website and her online store. It's working for us on Instagram. We're selling a lot of goods, but in order to access and reach people in different places, a website is where we land. The homepage is everything to me. It looks amazing. I have no experience in computer development, website, like any of that stuff. Thankfully, the GoDaddy website is very self-explanatory. I think I'm just feeling like excited and anxious to show people what we've been working on. We want to grow and be bigger and greater and, and more connected. And so we're stoked to launch our website. I feel like that's like the hill that we're moving towards going over now. I'm doing it. <laughs> How do you feel? Now I feel slides? relieved. <laughs> I hope people go to it. It just looks a lot more professional because people can click the website and kind of see the scope of what I offer. Not only does it give this vintage feel that we sell vintage and you can shop our Instagram feed live, but it incorporates all our colors in the background of the prints and the greeting cards. So it feels very connected. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? So good. This is my friend Ashley. Yeah, she bought a wicker piece for me and then we became friends. Oh my God. It's like the match made in heaven. <laughs> the night the website had launched, I hadn't gotten any orders. And I had like posted it on Instagram, posted it everywhere, and I was freaking out to Joey. And I was like, this is the end. Like, we have to quit. Close wicker goddess. Like, shut the doors. And then my phone dinged and you placed an order. <laughs> and I was like screaming, running around the house, like, we made it. It's phenomenal when you ask for your community to show up for you, they do.
You can sell a million things and then one day comes and you don't sell one thing and you forget about the million and you focus on the one. So I'm finding that balance, but way more good days than bad days. Can't you just feel Sarah's excitement when that order came in? I mean, I was screaming, I was clapping for her. I was like, yes, Sarah, you got your order. But I also love her reminder to remember the good things so you don't focus on the bad. And Sarah is rocking that website. I mean, she is crushing it. Now we're about to change gears and talk about expanding your reach with marketplaces. Now, it's amazing to sell through your own website, but you might also want to expand your ability um, to, to actually sell to your customers who aren't visiting your site. Now, that's why GoDaddy's Websites Plus Marketing Online Stores Marketplace, it actually lets you feature and lets you sell your products across the leading online sales channels, such as Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and Walmart.com. And this means if you're already selling on these channels, or if you want to start, you can do that and manage all of your inventory from your online store. So you can also link your products to Google and have them show your Google shopping listing as well. And for no additional charge, it's pretty awesome. And this can be tied into a search strategy, be part of your overall efforts to improve your digital presence, or just give people more options to interact with your products. Now, ultimately, wherever you decide to expand your sales, linking to marketplaces, it actually helps you reach more customers. I mean, at the end of the day, I think that's what we all want. We all want to reach more customers. We want to connect with more people. And you do that by being where they are. You do that by being engaging with your customers where they normally shop. You can gain new customers and then build on that relationship. And when they're talking about new customers, we're talking about quite a few of them. And I kind of gave that away. And I'm sorry, y'all. But you're, if you're thinking about how many customers, well, I mean, for starters, Amazon gets 2.3 billion visits each month, 2.3 billion visits each month. And think about this, all of your products will display in marketplaces feature. So this way you can easily list them on new channels and any changes you make to your products within your online store, hey, they're going to actually update to your connected marketplaces. This means all of your inventory and orders can be managed in one place. And that's amazing. Remember, this is helping you out. This is cutting down on that stress. Now, I've asked my friend Darlene to show you how to connect your site to marketplaces and also how to list your products on the newly connected channels. Let's watch. We're going to use Sarah's website for this demo. From the Websites Plus Marketing dashboard, choose Store and Marketplaces. All of the products from Sarah's online store display. The Etsy icon is next to the products that are currently on that platform. To add a new marketplace, choose the Listings dropdown and select Add New Marketplaces. This is where you can select the marketplace you want to connect to. You'll be asked to enter your credentials or create an account and then give GoDaddy permission to access that account. Once you've connected your marketplace, you can list your products on the new marketplace or if you have products on that marketplace already, you can import them into your online store. To list a product, all you need to do is go to the products page of your online store and select which product or products you want to list and then choose where you want to list them. Sarah's only connected to Etsy, so that's what you see. If she was connected to multiple marketplaces, you'd see those options as well. At this point, you'll jump over to the marketplaces screen where you can publish the product to Etsy. The next thing I want to show you is where you can go to manage all of your orders. We'll go to store and choose orders. All of the orders will be managed in your online store and you'll be able to see where each order was generated. Thanks, Darlene. And I just love how easy it is to connect to the marketplace to the online store. Having all of your inventory tracked in that one place is, is priceless. And using the marketplace feature, it also helps you sell your products where consumers love to shop and that's online. Now let's switch things up and talk about selling on social media. Now this is a great, fantastic, I cannot say enough things about this. This is a great way to expand your online presence and get your products in front of more shoppers. Now it isn't just enough to have an online store, it's, it's not. 
if you want to stay ahead of your competition, and I know we all want to, and keep up with changing consumer preferences, they change every minute, every day, then you need to take your digital selling a step further and start selling on social media. Now, when it comes to selling on social media, there's a number of platforms you can choose from. But you're probably thinking, Jeffrey, how do I know which one is right for my business, right for me, right for my customers? Should you be selling on more than one platform? I mean, what about all of them? So you really want to make sure you're going to take a look at the platforms that you have business accounts with right now. Is it just Facebook? Great. Then sell on Facebook. Are you on Pinterest, Twitter? Maybe you're on Instagram. You really want to make sure you're taking a look at your metrics from each. Remember, every business is different. You want to make sure that you're looking at the metrics that are going to work for you and your audience. And you also want to think about which one are you receiving the most engagement on? And that's going to be a great indication of what platform would bring you the most revenue when it comes to product sales. Now, another thing is you may also want to take your audience demographics into consideration. Are you selling to consumers, maybe to other businesses? Are your consumers teens, millennials, seniors, Generation Z? Um, are they predominantly male or female? And the answers to these questions will likely influence what decisions you make about where to prioritize your social selling efforts. And if you're a websites plus marketing customer, you can actually connect your Facebook and your Instagram accounts to your website, which makes selling products on these platforms, it makes it a breeze. And with hundreds of millions of consumers shopping on social, it's never been more important before to get started. So on Instagram alone, 130 million people tap on a shopping post every month. Again, 130 million people tap on a shopping post every month. Now I'm gonna raise my hand and call myself out. I contribute to that 130 million. I actually just made an impulse purchase last night, bought some more <laughs> workout shorts. But you really wanna think about this because once you're connected, you can sync your products and then quickly and easily actually create shoppable posts on Facebook and Instagram. Now, when a shopper sees your post and they actually click on it, they're going to be taken back to your online store to complete that transaction. And that's pretty cool. Like I said, that's convenient and it's easy. And Websites Plus Marketing will soon support Facebook and Instagram checkout, making it even easier for shoppers to find and also purchase your products. Now, Darlene's going to join us again to show you how it all works. I'm going to show you how to connect Facebook and Instagram to marketplaces so you can create shoppable posts. What's so awesome about this process is once you're connected, you can manage all of your sales from one place, your online store. This means if you add or delete a product or make a change to a product, like the price or description, the changes made in your online store and also in your Facebook catalog. From your Websites Plus Marketing dashboard, select Store, then Overview. Under the Increase Traffic section, click the box that says Connect to Facebook so you can start advertising and promoting your products. At this point, click Connect to Facebook again, and then sign in with your current Facebook credentials or create a new account. If you are currently using Websites Plus Marketing and you have your Facebook and Instagram connected in the Social section, you still have to do this process to connect your store to your social accounts. You'll be taken through a series of screens that will help ensure you're ready to sell on Facebook. Basically, you'll verify who you are, give permission for GoDaddy to connect to your Facebook account, and on the settings page, you'll be prompted to create your business manager account, Facebook page, and more. Don't worry, the screens are intuitive and you'll be set up in no time. If you already have these things, which we do, then you're already good to go. This is where the magic is happening. The GoDaddy online store is linking to Facebook. When it's ready, you'll see the screen telling you you're all set. I'm going to click done. Now that you're connected, you'll see Facebook in your marketplaces section of your online store. Let's check out our Facebook and Instagram listings. All of your online store products are automatically added to the catalog for you. This is awesome and allows you to tag your products on your Facebook and Instagram posts. When a viewer clicks the link to buy your product on your social account, they're taken to the product page of your online store to complete the purchase. In the future, connecting your Websites Plus Marketing e-commerce site will support direct checkout on Facebook and Instagram, making it easier for shoppers to purchase your products. Another great benefit of going through this process is your inventory is synced between your online store and your social accounts. Let's go check out how to make a shoppable post on Facebook. This is my business Facebook page. 
To add a post, just click Create Post. This process will be familiar if you have a personal Facebook account. In the Create Post box, start typing your message and then click the three dots to add to your post and choose Tag Products. And now you're ready to upload your photo or video. Find the file you want to upload. Facebook will tag the picture for you if it recognizes what it is. If not, then you'll manually add it. All you need to do is click the product and find the tag. It's that easy. When things look good, save and add your post. Back on our Facebook page, we can see our new post showing up. When a buyer clicks on the product in the post, we'll see the product for sale. If they click checkout on website, they'll be taken to the product page of your online store to complete the checkout process. Now let me show you how it looks on Instagram. If you have your Instagram business account connected to your Facebook account, these same products will be taggable when you create your post on Instagram. All you need to do is create your post, tag the product, and your post is now shoppable. It's pretty cool. Now, I just love that you can manage all of your products and orders in that one single location, and that just makes the process more efficient. Plus, this is a huge time saver for you as a business owner. Now, you may be thinking, Jeffrey, I don't use websites plus marketing, or I don't have my social channels connected. So Sarah from Wicker Goddess started selling her products on Instagram and then added her own website. Now, let's hear from her and see what she's done to be successful at social selling. I always knew that I was meant to be an entrepreneur, and I think it was just me tapping into my power and stepping boldly into it without hesitation. Before I launched my website, my presence was all on Instagram, which works for me because people buy things through Instagram. It's like the new day and age where someone can see a post and buy something straight from you. That's what Built Wicker got us. Eight months later, I got a website where we were already thriving and selling. When you're building a business and you're not quite sure everything it's going to hold, you're also kind of building yourself up and you're not quite sure everything you're going to hold, right? And as you peel through layers and move into the future of what your business looks like, you're figuring out also what you look like in that space. I'm amazed at how fast she posts something and then 30 minutes later posts sold. I'm excited to see the creative spark ignite even more than it already has. I feel like I finally landed, and not that Wicker Goddess is huge and amazing and we've arrived where we want to be, but that I've landed in the way that I want my everyday life to feel. I've landed where I want my everyday life to feel. I love that. Again, I am getting chills, and that's something that you need to think about every day. You want to land where you want your everyday life to feel. Sarah's success on Instagram is inspiring, and I love that her family also shared how fast her products were selling on that platform. And seeing some samples of her posts is always great, too. So we've covered a lot of ground in this session from establishing your readiness for e-commerce to learning how to sell products and services on your website expanding those sales in other marketplaces, and taking it home with even selling and so showcasing products on social media. But I also want to make sure we have time to answer your questions. Now, at the bottom of your screen, you should see a box where you can actually enter questions that you have. And I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes or so answering those questions. All right. Go ahead and get up here because I feel like we have a lot of questions. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, so got a question from Anonymous and they ask, can you display customer reviews for your products? Um, yes, customer reviews, they're a powerful influencer for product purchases and, and we and need to make it easy for you to engage recent buyers as well for your online store. And this way you can get their feedback and actually highlight them next to products. And having reviews or testimonials on your site can make you and your business seem more professional. But also think about this as well. When you're sharing these great customer reviews for your products or maybe your services, it's not just about that current customer. It's about future customers as well. And they're deciding if they want to spend money with you or the competition right down the street. So always think when you're responding to these reviews, when you're sharing these reviews, it's not just about that current person. It's about everyone else because they're also trying to make buying decisions as well. All right, next question. Johanna asks, will Facebook be added to the marketplaces? Yes, yes, it will. Um, we just launched the ability to 
actually connect your Facebook and Instagram to your online store. And once this is done, the catalog displays in your marketplace. And this way you'll be able to manage all of your products in that one spot. And the cool thing about this is, this is in your online store, and this is gonna make it easier for you and also help save you time as well. So thank you for that question, Johanna, thank you. All right, another question. Robin asked, I wanna sell educational workshops and courses, how? Um, she tells us her site is templechristianuniversity.org. I have not gone to e-commerce, not sure if this is the right step. Any recommendations? Yes, I have a recommendation. <laughs> yes, Robin, thank you for asking that question as well and hope you're having a good day. Um, during these pandemic times, like during these rough times, we really wanna make sure it's important to offer workshops and courses online. I mean, you, you want to just like this. And Websites Plus Marketing does offer online appointments. And this feature actually lets you list your workshops and course online. And you can also offer them via Zoom as well. And I hope that helps. Now, Anonymous asks, how can I get people to find my site? All right, Anonymous. Well, with GoDaddy's um, website plus marketing e-commerce plan, there's a built-in SEO wizard. So if you already have a site, it's actually located under your marketing tab, sorry. But basically the wizard is gonna walk you through um, picking out keywords for your site. And the cool thing about this, and I, and I love this feature, it's gonna actually give you recommendations on where you can make changes. So this way you can get found when um, potential customers are trying to search you on Google as well. All right, we have another question. If I'm selling digital products, you know, ebook, video training, does GoDaddy automate delivery? The short answer is yes. <laughs> um, Website Plus Marketing actually handles fulfillment of digital products automatically. And again, y'all, this is setting you up for success. This is, we want to make this easier on you and to save you time. So definitely, definitely, that is yes. And then also the other question that, um, is there integration from GoDaddy's e-commerce solution to QuickBooks Online? Um, we don't have that yet, but this is um, our roadmap for 2021, so please stay tuned. So got a question from Chris. Hey, Chris, can you integrate Clover into your marketplace? I want to keep track of my online purchases in my POS, in my POS system. Okay. Well, Chris, we're actually looking into this and may enable this in the future. So just stay tuned and be on the lookout. Emery Keeps. Hope I did not put your name, Emery. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if the question is, if I'm not using GoDaddy website, can I still connect to marketplaces? So the answer I'm, I'm going to tell you is the marketplaces is powered by Cellbrite. So you don't need a GoDaddy website to use standalone Cellbrite products. And Cellbrite is a GoDaddy brand, so this is just a great tool to make sure it's helping you manage your third-party sales channels. And it has all the benefits of Marketplace's functionality, and we just walked through. So you can go to Cellbrite.com to sign up for your account and use it for 30 days for free, and then start listing your products in, to the Marketplace. Chris with another question. Yes, this is what this is. This is what this time is for. Say the question is: Say we have a person and an online store. How do we integrate our POS into our marketplace on GoDaddy? So right now we actually currently integrate with Square POS, and we're looking to integrate with other POS um, with online stores. And I hope that helps you out, Chris. So we got a question: What about services selling? So yes, we are going to actually. Um, support this through online appointments feature the customer you can actually only schedule appointments for services but you can pay online in advance if you want to all these questions i'm loving it yes so our next question is can i make shipping price change based on how far it has to be shipped for instance i want to be in i want it to be cheaper for someone who lives in the same state as me as opposed to shipping across the country so yes, you can um, enable real-time shipping rate calculation via USPS and UPS, and that, and that should address your issue. And thank you all for these questions. These are great.
And again, hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. If you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the chat box below or in the box below. And also gonna throw this back out there again because definitely wanna make sure you're signing up for this. Just a friendly reminder, you can sign up to get a free 20 minute session with a GoDaddy guide. And you can do that under GoDaddy guides. So we got another question and it says, can I make shipping price change? You just got base change on how far, but you can actually add some other ones as well. Um, so what payment methods can you offer for your online store? You can do credit cards via PayPal, Stripe or Square, um, PayPal payments, Apple Pay, love Apple Pay. I use it all the time. And Google Pay, Venmo or mobile devices. And just like in these times right now, um, having Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, other mobile devices is going to be really important. So Caroline Cicerone, she just asked, can we just link up Instagram without Facebook? So, so Caroline, Instagram shopping is powered through Facebook. So you'll need to actually connect your Facebook account to marketplaces. Marketplaces will actually upload um, the catalog to Facebook which will then be accessible for you in Instagram to create shoppable posts. And while you don't actually have to create posts and or you don't have to advertise your products in Facebook, the Instagram catalog is powered through Facebook. And Carolina, I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question. So another anonymous question, does GoDaddy integrate with drop shipping companies such as Printful? So not yet, um, but we are looking to supporting drop shopping on Websites Plus Marketing. So just stay tuned, just be on the lookout. Uh, I, this is a great question. What percentage, if any, does GoDaddy make off of my future sales? GoDaddy doesn't charge um, transactional fees on any of your sales. So keep that in mind. I have a few more minutes. I know that I'm always that person that's just waiting by, but if you have a question, let us know, drop it in the box and we'll be able to answer that question for you. Ah, ask me shall receive a question. Let, let me tell you y'all. So can I offer local delivery and or, and or curbside pickup options to my customers? My Southern jaw came out. <laughs> Absolutely, you, um, you can actually configure local delivery on the online store and this actually delivers orders to specific nearby zip codes but this also offers curbside pickup for customers as well remember the times we're living in we really want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to um, offer this to our customers and making sure we're making it available to them and meeting them right there where they need us and thanks y'all for these questions these are great ones so got one from andrea they asked, should we delete personal pages when establishing a business page to maintain professionalism? So when you create a business Facebook page, um, it's only tied to your personal page. So no one will know that it's tied to you um, unless you post something about it on your personal page. Now, another thing I will say about this is um, one thing when you're thinking about connecting with people on your social media sites is they want that authenticity. They want it to be personable. So as authentic as you can be, whether you're a realtor and your and your agent or the person that's working with you is your dog, your daughter, your son, you know maybe you're on site um, for your construction business and your family showing up to you know make meals. You know definitely make sure that you're being personable online. Show that real you. Show that authentic side of you. People, that's what they want. They don't want a robot. They want that person you know, behind them. They wanna know your passions as well. So definitely don't be afraid to mix professional and personal on your social media sites. It's gonna carry you a long way and it's gonna make you seem even more real um, than just another social media account for a local business. Really make sure you're gonna stand out by being personable online, just like you would in person. And I hope that helps. Now we got another question. Will Pinterest be available to create a shoppable post? So not at this time, um, but this may be an integration supported in the future. So again, stay tuned, be on the lookout, a lot of things coming y'all's way. Now, 
another one, will you be integrating with Stripe? We already support Stripe payment um, gateway on our websites plus marketing online store. And Catherine Kapert, um, she said, are integrations with Amazon and Etsy good? If so, how can I make the best of it? Hey, Catherine. Um, well, Marketplaces has a great integration with Amazon and Etsy. And publishing your products to these platforms, that starts with the products page and websites plus marketing. And the platform will guide you through that process. So it's going to carry you right through there. And you don't have to do a lot of work at all. <laughs> Caroline asks, will this and the other presentation be available to view again? Yes, all the recordings will be posted to GoDaddy's YouTube channel in about a week. So just be on the lookout and stay tuned for that recording for on our GoDaddy YouTube channel. And also don't forget to share it with your friends. All right, all these are some great, great questions. Keep them coming and definitely like if you have any other questions, put them in the chat or the box below. <laughs> So just want to say a huge thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to everyone. Y'all have been amazing. Um, but thank you also for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. Now, please don't forget to take the survey um, to let us know what you think, how we did, what your thoughts are, what you loved. Um, and if you're on social media posting about the event, and we hope that you are, don't forget to tag us at GoDaddy and use hashtag GoDaddyOpen2020. And lastly, if you want to continue the conversation, don't forget to visit our community at godaddy.com backslash community. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Now get out there and start selling everywhere. Y'all go take that leap and have a great rest of your Tuesday.